So in this video, we will talk about BGP traffic steering and the attributes that are used to do that. In the previous video for OSPF, we talked about how to steer OSPF traffic, and that was using the OSPF cost. And that's about all you can do in OSPF from traffic steering perspective. In BGP, uh, it is a advanced routing protocol and it's got a lot of attributes that you can use to do traffic steering when we talk about traffic steering bgp is typically on you know used at the gateway at the edge level where you're talking to another set of routers or another organization or an isp and there's so many ways you can control the attributes or configure the attributes. So if you were to sort it out, the, you know, sort the attributes out, you know, basically you got the weight, local preference, AS path and the med, and you can use AS path both in both category. The first category here is when the traffic is exiting your autonomous system. So remember you have an AS, and it's talking to other AS, whether it's an ISP or it's a, another set of organization or corp, or if it's a core, what have you. And that BGP AS will have OSPF running independently in, in them or any other IGP. You know, typically, OSPF is the only standard protocol nowadays. So the BGP AS would use these attributes to determine which way to go out this way this way, how do you attract, if you've got a network, how do you attract, and you're advertising to both of them, then how do you attract the traffic for this network, right? Whether you want it to come in from here or you want it to come in from here, obviously, you know, this is the internet. So to do all this traffic steering and engineering, you gotta think from traffic exiting, how do you wanna make your traffic exit and how do you want to make your traffic enter for a given network? If you've got 10 loads of network, you can have net one come in through here, net two come in from here, and so on and so forth. So you can do all this through BGP attributes. Traffic exiting, you can manipulate the easiest one is weight, but it's not popular because it's very local to the router. If you tweak the weight, it'll only be applicable to one router. If you got two routers here, then weight will only influence traffic between the two links. You want higher weight to go this way and lower weight to go this way. It does not influence traffic coming in to this router. So let's redraw this. We have an AS and I've got a lab for each one of them, but this is just a cheat sheet and overview, which I am, weight would be like this. You got two links from the same router, but if you got two routers, then weight would not help you control the exiting traffic. For that, if you got two or more routers, then, and they're interconnected through an IBGP, you would need to use local preference to influence your traffic going out. So you set the local preference on this router and it would influence this guy to say, hey, I am better. So when the traffic hits you, send it this way. That's local preference. And you can do the same thing with AS path. And that would be working as import for the routes. You just prepend in and it will influence the traffic going out. Now for the traffic entering your AS, MED is a very unique use case where you have dual connection in this fashion to a same BGP AS, right? So you can influence MED, which is multi-exit discriminator. You set the MED out you export it out to the same AS and he is going to 
influence the traffic that is destined for your network. So when you say med out, he's gonna take this med and distribute it to his IBGP peers and based on the traffic coming towards your network, he's gonna say, if you say met out higher metric and lower metric, if this is the lower metric, then he's gonna go like this. So that's the med and it's only applicable to the same AS. And it does not go beyond this AS. It's only applicable to the net, you know, immediate AS. As for, you know, as far as the AS path is concerned, you can influence the traffic beyond this AS. So if you prepend out, if you add send AS paths, remember BGP. I'm assuming that you know the basic uh, BGP. BGP works on AS path length. That's the default. It looks at the AS path, and I'll go through this with the lab. But AS path length is it's basic cost, the default cost, just like an OSPF, there's a cost. The shortest BGP AS path gets preferred. So you can prepend add AS paths to influence traffic coming into your network. So AS path is therefore much more popular to be used because you can do both exiting influencing and entering influencing using AS path. And uh, the next uh, few videos, I'll make a video for weight, local preference, and then AS path as well as med with the topologies. And then we'll configure this and see how that works. Hope this helps.